Hello and welcome back. Today, what we are trying to do is uh, convert a number to a string. Now, again, uh, this is a very simple uh, problem. Uh, when I clicked on the next challenge on Code Wars, this is the problem that I got, and it's pretty straightforward, right? At least when you're trying to do it in JavaScript, this is pretty straightforward. I think it is the same in Python. Uh, of course, the syntax would change, but it is more of a one liner, right? Uh, so let's just go through the instructions. Uh, we need a function that can transform a number into a string, right? So what are the ways of achieving this? So for example, when you say one, two, three, all they expect you to return back is a string. Now, what exactly is a string? So anything that is enclosed between a pair of single quotes. Let me just get rid of this. So anything that is enclosed between the pair of single quotes is a string. So this is a string, right? And also you can do the same thing within double quotes, right? This is also a string, right? Now, if you notice here, if they say just one, two, and three, now this is not a string, right? That is just a regular number. But if you enclose that between a single quote or between a double quote, then that becomes a string. It is no longer a number. Right. This is how the computer understands and differentiates between string and numbers. So how can you convert this number that is being fed to you to a string? Right. First of all, if you notice this, uh, we need to return a string. Right. So from a function to return something, you will use the keyword return. Right. So when you use this keyword, it will return back something. Now there is a simple and easy solution. Uh, with JavaScript provides, there is a method called as to string, right? So this is a method which can be called upon uh, values, right? Like say, for example, now our value is number. So we say number dot. We use the dot operator and convert that to a string. So if you go here to W3 schools and you search for the to string method, here you can see in the definition and usage that the two string method returns the value of a string object, right? So basically, if you're using the number and then you're trying to convert it to a string, what it will return is basically a, a string. So now at this point of time, during the evaluation, number is basically one, two, three. Let's just assume that it is one, two, three. And then when you call the two string method, then this will return one two three right and then at the end of the day what we are trying to do is return this returned value right so we are returning one two three as a string so that is what is basically happening let's just test this out and yeah now you see that we successfully passed this result right let's just attempt this and we see that this has been completed in five milliseconds right so now let's just try out other ways in which we can achieve this. So that is using the inbuilt function. How you can do this without using the inbuilt function? Again, we need to just return the string, right? Like return the number in terms of string. So we use the keyword return. No changes over there. What we can do is we can return this as a number, right? Because we just need to return this as a string. But you can notice that if you do this, you're just going to return whatever is inside this, which is num. So every time you do this, you're just returning num, 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 num. And you're not actually returning whatever is being inputted inside that num, right? Whatever, whatever is uh, given to you, right? So you need to evaluate this num. To evaluate that, we need to use back, back text, right? In JavaScript, this is how it works. So you use back text and you pass on the variable name. So now this is being evaluated and brought down into whatever is there, right? Like if you say, if you pass num as one, two, three, then this is evaluated to one, two, three. If you pass nine, 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 then it is evaluated to nine, nine, nine. But because you are using backticks, it is treated as a string and it is no longer treated as just a number, right? So at the end of the day, whatever is inside this expression is being converted back to a string. So even this should work pretty, perfectly yep this works and then when you attempt 
yep it works right so all the test cases passes and then there is one last uh, way of converting this to a string that would be to declare a variable called as string like just declare an empty variable and then we can use string concatenation like this and then say return string now what exactly is happening over here so we declare a variable which is uh, called a string it is an empty string variable now if you say something is equal to empty double single quotes or empty double quotes it declares a string variable that is empty right so this is an empty string right and then what we are trying to do is add this empty string with whatever is the number say for example our number is one two three so now our string contains one two three why because we are trying to add an empty string with a number right anything uh any operation the plus operation performed on a string the resulting uh whatever is the result is always going to be a string right so you just need to know that inside javascript so if you know that then you can perform this pretty easily so now the number becomes a string and then we just return a string right we just test this out and then we attempt this again we completed it in five milliseconds if you noticed all of the tests we completed it within five milliseconds so not a big deal you can use any method sometimes uh, you just need to make sure that you use the most effective method to cut down your programming speed um, of course in this solution it does not matter it is pretty simple it is pretty straightforward but as and when you go on proceeding with big projects right uh, the lesser uh, the time taken to execute something the better right so yeah that's, that is it for this video uh, pretty straightforward nothing too complicated those were the three ways in which you could solve this problem hope you enjoyed that and see you in the next video